so we are done with our meshing now we will set up our case so go to setup and start your fluent so this is your fluent now you can see here mesh interface this option is active if you see closely it always remains inactive but during the mesh interface it becomes active right now it's active so let's start with the mesh interface so go to mesh interface create you have four interface from zone 1 to zone 2 first of all name it interface interface let's say interface a that is between interface 1 interface 2 you have to select from zone 1 and zone 2 each time create so interface a is done and interface b so that would be interface 3 and interface 4 create so your two interface has been done now go to general we will do pressure based solver steady state problem with absolute velocity fine then go to model go to energy turn on the energy equation go to viscosity go to k epsilon standard standard wall function k epsilon model we will use we don't have any radiation this heat exchanger is different problem than what we are doing right now so you don't need to worry about this right now we don't have any combustion so all other options will be turned off only the energy and viscosity will be active so go to material the material default material is air but we need water so go to edit fluent database find the water liquid select this copy and close and for the solid we also need the solid because right now the default material is aluminium but we want the tube made of copper so go to change this fluid to solid go to fluent database and try to find out where the copper is okay change it to solid so here you have here copper so select this copper copy and close so now you have two fluid air and water and two solid copper and aluminium so we will go to cell zone condition inner fluid fluid type go to edit change it to water liquid okay outer fluid fluid type go to edit and change it to water liquid solid pipe go to edit change it from aluminium to copper and okay now you are done with your material properties now the boundary condition the most important part so first of all if you see the problem setup and the problem statement here we have the working fluid water and the cold water temperature is 27 degrees C or 300 degree Kelvin and the hot water temperature is 87 degrees celsius or 360 kelvin and the water mass flow rate is 0.001 kilogram per second so we will use these quantities so go to cold inlet velocity inlet change it to mass flow inlet yes and it will ask you to give the mass flow change it to 0.001 change the direction vector normal to boundary and change it to intensity and viscosity hydraulic diameter so this is the internal flow so we will use hydraulic diameter and the thermal section it's 300 so it's okay cold outlet this is outflow hot inlet also this will be mass flow inlet 
and our mass flow will be 0 0.001 and the direction will be normal to boundary and intensity and hydraulic diameter will be same I forgot to give the temperature so this would be 360 for 83 degree Kelvin oh, sorry 87 degree Kelvin and the outflow is outlet is outflow now you are done with your boundary conditions we already created the interface we don't have any dynamic mesh you can check the reference values if you select reference from cold inlet you can see these values temperatures pressure enthalpy now go to solution method we will use simple solution scheme with lead square cell based gradient we will change the turbulent kinetic energy from first order to second order upwind also we will change the turbulent dissipation rate now solution control these are the parameters you don't need to change this right now we will try to change it if our solution doesn't converge now go to solution initialization initialize and then go to run calculation and calculate 100 times so it will start calculating and as you can see your continuity and your energy is going down so we are done with our simulation in the next tutorial we will see the results and some post-processing Thank you.